Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to use a date picker web component. And I would like to use the Vardin Elements date picker, which is a set of web components, ready to use web components. And uh, I would like to use a free component called date picker. And in order to use it, I will have to use Bower first to install the dependencies. And a Bower is the, what Bower does behind the scenes is like a glorified uh, Git clone. It just clones existing repositories. So, um, and I would like to use the uh, Velo theme. So let's do this. Just install that. So it pulls all the, uh, the uh, dependencies from, uh, from the Git repository. And now we can switch to the editor. And now what I got on top of it, the Bauer components repository, which was created right now. And I would like to use the date picker component. So how to use that? We have uh, to add two dependencies to the project. So let's go with that. And um, so let's do this. So I will add the dependencies right now. And this is the old web component syntax. The new syntax uses ES6 imports. This is the old one, but uh, it shouldn't matter. You should use this. Um, you should use whatever your component provider provides you. So this will import the component. And what we will have to do is to start the application with these dependencies. So I, I would like to use browser sync for that. So I would say browser sync, browser sync, and start. And I would like to start from source and browser sync uh, date picker bower components folder so it should surf from source and bower component but only watch the source folder and i would like to launch the google chrome browser google chrome browser so and it's already launched so we see now that uh you see the hello from from this is uh this is the hello from here so let's see whether it actually works and it seems to work. So um, now it's synchronized and I would like to actually serve the components from here. So let's uh, see what happens here. And we get 2404 because it cannot find the components. Why not? Because uh, we serve the, the contents from Bower component folder. And now all the problems are gone. So now we imported our date picker. Not yet. So uh, what do we have to do? We have to actually use the tag. So let's take a look how it looks like. So HTML examples. And let's say with a label. So I would like to use this tag. Um, so we switch to here. And our uh, web component appears here. But uh, so we can choose something. And um, so it looks nice. But I would really like to use the uh, the date here. So on every change, I would like to subscribe to the changes. So let's do this in the plain JavaScript uh, J JavaScript file I have here. So um, instead of just uh, logging out um, this Hello Web standards, what I would like to do is to say, okay, just do it in in a, in a proper way. So I would like to remember the name of the component. This is this one, and say, okay. Custom elements, custom elements, when defined, so in case they are already known to the runtime, Vardin, then do something with it. And um, what I would like to do is I would like to fetch the component first. So I would like to say document query selector and uh, I'm searching for Vardin date picker and this is my date picker and let's see whether it works so I would just say console.dir date picker and we have it the reference so it looks uh, somehow interesting so we have the dollar here so it seems like this is the, the native vadin component and what i would like to do is i would like to subscribe to the changes and we can use custom events for that so i can ask the date picker at event listener for a value changed so i can register a listener value changed and i would like to to retrieve the value console log 
and the value without the semicolon note date packer date picker so let's go with the date picker so let's see what happens i pick something and i got the custom event but what i would like to do is every custom event um, has to contain a detail so can contain a detail payload and this is your detail and we see the value so what i can actually get now i can ask the event for the detail and then for the value and now if i choose something here i get the value of the actual date so the nice story of web components is you can pick whatever provider you like and you are still compatible with the web component and of course no one would create a date picker from scratch right now so you can use for instance um, vadin or prime faces components for this purpose so thank you for watching and uh, if you're interested in web components check out uh, webcomponentstraining.org or see you at conferences workshops or airhacks.com in munich so thank you and bye